Well, here's a project that I've been wanting to do for quite some time. Uh, we're going to test the different brands of batteries and see how long they last. Uh, some of them here uh, claim they last longer than others. So what I've got is uh, a little display here that displays all these little cars. These are all from the dollar store. They're all the exact same little car. They all take the AAA battery. And then I bought uh, eight different brands of batteries. So we have the, uh, the Sunbeam Alkaline. Uh, there's no particular order. I just kind of put them in where kind of what I was thinking was the better battery. So uh, we have the Panasonic Super Heavy Duty Power. We have the Everready Gold. I bought two packages of these because if I took these two out here, um, then you wouldn't have seen the battery. So, and then we have these ones here are actually from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's a value pack. Uh, you get these free when you purchase something. Then you have the uh, Rayovac. Last long as energizer, so this will be kind of interesting to see how that goes. And then we have I've never used these before, these are the fusion. Uh, they also say they last longer, uh, they last longer than energizer, so that's going to be kind of interesting to watch as well. And then moving down the line here, the uh, traditional energizer, okay, I'm sorry, the Duracell copper top, okay, so we have those. And then we have the Energizer, and that's probably the one we see on television, probably the most uh, little bunny rabbit. So what's going to happen is I'm going to set this clock to uh, noon time. So it'll be a little bit easier to maybe figure this out, maybe not, I don't know. So we're going to start it at 12 o'clock. We're going to turn these on all, all on. We're going to turn them all on, and we're just going to let them run. And I'm just going to kind of keep coming back to the video because I'm not going to be able to let these run for, uh, let the video run all the time. I'm going to run out of space. So I'll come back in maybe 15 or 20 minutes and we'll go from there. After the first 15 minutes, I am starting to see uh, car number two start to slow down ever so slightly. Um, the LEDs are not as bright and the wheels are not turning as quickly either. Uh, but the rest of them all seem to be going pretty good after the first 15 minutes. Um, the way I've got these cars on here are uh, some double-sided tape. So that's what's holding them down from vibrating off the display. All right. We'll, uh, we'll check back in a little bit later. All right, we're about an hour into it, and uh, the old Panasonic is starting to slow down pretty good. Um, and let's see, the other one I've started to notice is the Thunderbolt Harbor Freight batteries is starting to slow down. Uh, the rest of them are going pretty good. I'm actually quite surprised with the Dollar Store Sunbeam uh, still going really strong. So we've got uh, these three are from the Dollar Store, I believe. This, yes, three from the dollar store, one from Harbor Freight, and these four from Lowe's. So they're all going pretty good, so we'll let them go and see what happens. I predict this one's going to be dying here shortly. All right, we're an hour and 15 minutes into it. The old Panasonic Super Heavy Duty is not looking good. Uh, the old Sunbeam Alkaline still hanging in there. The Everready Gold still doing okay. The Thunderbolt Harbor Freight starting to slow down a little bit. Uh, let's see, the, uh, the Railback, they're doing pretty good, along with the Fusion and the Duracell and the Energizer. So they're all going pretty good, uh, other than this one here. So uh, we'll be calling this one shortly. All right, we're going to call it uh, about an uh, hour and 37 minutes. And the old Panasonic Super Heavy Duty is out. So let's see, uh, it looks like the Thunderbolt, Harbor Freight Thunderbolt is uh, next one in, in the lead. Uh, so one hour, 37 minutes on the old Panasonic Super Heavy Duty battery. I am absolutely amazed on the, uh, <laughs> on the Sunbeam Alkaline is still going strong. Okay, we're into the uh, two-hour mark, and as you can see, the old Thunderbolt heavy-duty battery, uh, it's actually the Thunderbolt Magnum. 
So very impressive battery. Thunderbolt Magnum, uh, heavy duty battery. So uh, that looks like it's on its way out. And uh, the other ones are still going strong. Now I can't keep the uh, video on so you can watch this all the time. I just don't have the room because as you can see, we've got two hours uh, happening at the moment. So we kind of missed when that one went out. But I was watching, I'm just sitting back, watching the movie, taking care of some business. Uh, when that went out, I got the time uh, pretty pretty accurate at, at uh, one hour, 37 minutes. So I'm gonna try to do the best I can with this one. Maybe I can time it just right so you can see that one die. Okay, let's uh, continue on. Okay, I couldn't get it in time. Two hours, 16 minutes uh, on car four. So we have two down and uh, six more to go. So what battery was that? That was the, uh, the Harbor Freight. Uh, that was the Thunderbolt Magnum. So let's see how it goes for the next round. Okay, we're in the three hours. Still going strong. Look at this dollar store. Dollar store Sunbeam Alpine batteries. I can't believe it's still going strong. That's got, that's got me interested already. Uh, but if you look look at the uh, Energizer, I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but it, it acts like it's slowing down. I'm not sure. It, it looks like that to me, but you be the judge. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little, uh, little piece of uh, plastic in front of the ones that are dead, just so it will kind of help you a little bit uh, when you're looking at this, which ones are still running. Uh, for me, for me, looking down, it's kind of tricky sometimes. So, anyways... Uh, I'm probably going to wait another half an hour. Uh, I got to actually run to the patch store working on the project. And I'm going to let them go. I think they will. Uh, I think they will run for a half an hour. We'll find out. So, all right. See you then. This is a surprise. Almost through the four hours, and the Duracell uh, car died. So I, I don't know exactly why. I mean, I mean, that's a pretty good battery. That's a well-known battery, but it's done. It's done. So, I did not see that coming. Probably what I will do is I will put some batteries in there just to make sure the car is okay. Uh, but I just watched it ever so slightly. The lights were getting dim. I was going to talk about it about a half an hour ago, but uh, I let it go, and, I, and it just died. So... The door cell is out of the picture. Look what's going on over here. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. Dollar Tree, Sunbeam. It's still going. It is It is slowing down a little bit. I'm seeing a lot of them. They're starting to slow down a little bit. Even the uh, Fusion, I'm starting to notice that one as well. So I was going to go to the four, four hour mark. And uh, I'm a little early because... Uh, Car number seven died. All right, we are at the uh, four hours, 15 minute mark. Um, as you can see, they're still going. I did check this just to make sure that the car was fine. I put two batteries in it. There's nothing wrong with the car. The batteries just died at that time. So uh, this is not at all going the way I thought it would. If you look at the Energizer, it's still going, but it's not moving as fast as the Railvac. Uh, again, it's just it's crazy what's going on. And look at the two dollar store batteries. They're still going. They are slowing down, but they're still going. So I don't know what's going to happen uh, from here on out. So I may go. I may go to the other uh, 15 minute mark, or I may go to uh, the quarter of five. I'm kind of wait and see what's happening. We're coming up to the uh, 4:30 mark, and. Uh, Car number three is just about ready to die, so uh, I just wanted to catch capture this just in case it did. So what we at? We're almost 4:30, four and a half hours. It doesn't take long. Once they start dying, they go down fast. So uh, the uh, Energizer, there we go, is just about done. So uh, yep, four and a half hours roughly. Number three is down for the count. They're dying off. Uh, we still got the Energizer still going strong, the Fusion still going strong, the Railback still going strong, and check out this one over here, the Sunbeam uh, still going strong. So, all right, uh, let's see what time is it now. I'll, I will I will log this one down. I'll write this one down for this tab, and I'll check back with you shortly.
Oh, it's not looking good for the old Energizer. It's going, it's going, it's going, it's gone. It's gone, it's out of here. Holy cow, I did not see that. I thought for sure that was gonna go longer. That, that little bunny rabbit beating that old drum on the commercials, done, done. Uh, the old Fusion, I've never used Fusion before, so that's still going, going strong, somewhat I guess. Uh, the Rayovac, <laughs> that's going pretty good. Check it out, check it out. There's no way that's gonna outlast the Rayovac. I can see that, but that may, that may be second best right there. So, it's coming down to the wire. It's getting there. Oh no, oh no. I can hear it winding down. The door cell did the same thing. It got, it, it was going really good and it, it slowed right down and the uh, lights went out. It's a toss up between the Rayovac and the Fusion. But the door cell did the exact same thing. Here we go, here we go. Oh no, I thought for sure that would go. All right, when we got there, uh, four hours, 45 minutes on the rail back. The Fusion is right behind it. Check it out, check it out. I'm gonna have to do this test again. There's just no way that this dollar store battery is outbeat all of these cars. I gotta write this one down and this one's coming right behind it. Okay, it's not looking good. Not looking good for the Fusion. Don't think it's gonna make the five hours. It's not gonna happen. It's going, it's going. I was able to capture some of these, but not all of them. I've been watching these for the last four and a half, close to five hours. My money on this one. Oh, there it goes. It's down, it's down. Here it is, the winner. The winner right here. Now let's see how long this is gonna go. Well, as you can see, it's still going. It's still going. I was just looking at all the data here uh, from all the different batteries. And interesting enough that the, uh, which one was it, the Fusion said that it lasts longer than the Energizer Max, and it did. It definitely outlasted that one. And what was the other one? Then the Rayovac, I believe it was the Rayovac, said that it also outlasted the Energizer, and it did as well. So that was accurate. Why this, uh, why this Dollar Tree battery is still going, I have absolutely no idea. I was looking at the label earlier just to make sure that it was still the 1.5 volt battery, and it is, uh, but it's still going. We're at five and a half hours into it right now. So I'll, uh, I'll come back. It looks like, uh, it looks like I'm going to get another half an hour out of this battery. So <laughs> not at all what I expected. So I'll be back. <laughs> well, what can I say? We are past the six hour mark uh, and it's still going. Uh, I'm not sure when it's going to die, but it's still going. This is crazy. I've talked to several of my friends about this and uh, they're in R as well. So. Uh, what can I say? It's going, and uh, maybe the Energizer Bunny is running these instead of those. I don't know. But uh, I'll come back in another half an hour. We'll, uh, we'll see where it's at. This is just not right. <laughs> Seven hours. Seven hours on a pack of Dollar Tree Sunbeam Alkaline batteries. Just does not make any sense. Uh, seven hours, still going. We'll be back. <laughs> there we go. It's coming down. Almost there. Seven hours, 42 minutes later. And it's done. It's done. Absolutely amazing. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I would have never thought that that battery would have outlasted everyone here. I thought that would have been the first one. All these cheap batteries would have been the Just first one. Just absolutely amazing. So uh, I'm really anxious to see this all put together now into a video. Uh, thanks an awful lot for watching. And um, we'll do this again possibly with something else because it just doesn't make sense. <laughs>